the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum, invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi because they feel it's a friendly, good-natured show that offers you relaxation and enjoyment. And they'd like to mention the fact that their product, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum, offers you relaxation and enjoyment, too. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint whether you're working, shopping, listening to your radio, or doing just about anything. Wrigley's Spearmint Gum tastes good, it's refreshing, and the good easy chewing gives you comfort and satisfaction. Now, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum brings you Luigi as he writes another letter describing his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mama Me, there's one thing about America. If you don't got the money to buy what do you want, so you don't have to worry. That's because they got a something that's called the credit. <laughs> Which means you buy today and worry tomorrow. <laughs> sure, in America, you buy anything you want for credit, but with the one the basic condition, you got to know how to sign your name. <laughs> I'll never forget that when I was in the United country, I'm about lots of things for credit. Radio, post, gas range, lots of more things. Then there came a time for first payment. <laughs> and I'm a found out that a big American institution, the loan company. <laughs> the loan company was very nice. They gave me money to make the payments on a radio, post, and the gas range. Then the next month, the loan company is a came to me for money. I was in a big trouble. I had to find somebody. And that's when I found out about America's biggest institution, Pasquale the Fat de Rocha. <laughs> Can I show you, Mamma Mia, how much I'm becoming a good American? Some big wholesale houses have promised to give me antiques for credit if I'm going to get to my name in a Dun and a Bradstreet's book. <laughs> this is a Dun and a Bradstreet's book, Mamma Mia, is, is got a, the names of all the businesses in the United States. And they give you marks on how good your business is. It's like a school of report the card with the money. <laughs> but wouldn't it be wonderful if I was in this event in the Bradley Street with all the other big names? Anyway, I'm to like a bigger man, look up and down on Bradley Street in the phone book. I'm going to call him up and next morning I was very nervous waiting for the man to come over and investigate me. <laughs> Luigi, my friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, <laughs> hello Pasquale. What's the matter for you? What's you know where to say hello to Pasquale, little banana nose? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, Pasquale. I, I, I'm a little nervous today. I'm waiting for somebody to come. A customer, little cabbage bush? <laughs> no, 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 Pasquale. Have you ever heard of a Dunn and a Bradley Street? No, but I heard a Fifth and a Broad Street. <laughs> Is that what he means? No, but it's done in a bad, bad, the bad street. It's not the street. It's a credit the company. They send a man over to investigate me, put my name in a book, and once I'm in the book, I'm going to have a credit rating, and the whole set is going to lend me antiques. Now you understand who's done in the bad street? Sure, it's a bookie. <laughs> uh, that's going to help your business, eh? Hey, Luigi, take my advice. So when this accredited fella comes, you send him away quick. No, no, Pasquale. Yes, you listen to me. Look, smarty pants. I've been 26 <laughs> years in the spaghetti business in America, and I did it pretty good without this uh, uh, Sydney and the Green Street. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pasquale, that's a done in a Bradley Street. What's the difference? Look, Luigi, once you start up with a Brad Street, you're done. <laughs> I only advise to you for your own good. Forget the credit of stuff. You want to be a bigger businessman? Do all you buy and sell in one way. K A S H cash. I'm I'm not got enough for cash. All right, so come to me. And are you going to lend me the money? No, but I sent you to a third party, and this third party is just busted with the cash. Yeah, and a fact too. 
Well, ladies, you don't start up with that, because if you... Hello, gonna... I'm Mr. Hotchkiss from Dun & Bradstreet. Are you Luigi Bosco? Oh, yes, yes, I'm... Uh, I'm uh, this is a uh, Mr. Pasquale. Pleased to meet you. Save you, brat, you ain't lending a cent out of me. <laughs> Mr. Bosco, I wonder if I could speak to you someplace where it's quiet. Oh, sure, sure, Mr. Hotchkiss. Look, Mr. Hotchkiss. If you want to find out anything at all, you ask me, because I brought this little pop squeaker here from Italy. I set him up for the business. I see. Uh, just how much stock did he begin with, Mr. Pasquale? Fifty dollars. You lent him fifty dollars to start a new business? Certainly. Money was no object. Yeah, but then my, my business was got the very good, Mr. Hotchkiss, and for three years I'd buy and sell, I'd buy and sell, and, and buy and sell. And how much would you say your business is worth today? Forty dollars. He buys the more than he sells. <laughs> No, no, but that's not the truth. Mr. Hotchkiss, I'm a figure. I'm a got over $1,000 in antiques right in this store. All right, that sounds reasonable. Don't believe him, Mr. Hopscotch. <laughs> here, here, look at this old spit on the wheel. He says it's worth the $50. I say it's worth the 50 cents of a firewood. Look at this chair, Mark, at $10. Not worth the 98 cents. No, that's not, that's not the truth. It's a genuine antique. Oh, uh, what are you talking? The oldest thing in this store is me. <laughs> Mr. Hatchikis, don't listen to Rest me. assured, Mr. Bosco, Dunn and Bradstreet's decision on your rating will be determined solely on the basis of solid business facts. Now, a few more questions. Number one, what is the size of your bank account? <laughs> Better skip it to number two. <laughs> Please, please, Pasquale. I'm going to fifty eight dollars in the bank, Mr. Hatch. Uh -huh. Do you have any outstanding debts, Mr. Bosco? No, I'm a don't owe nobody nothing. That's a lie. That's a lie. He owes a set to the party something. Mr. Bosco, what debt is Mr. Pasquale referring to? A two hundred and fifty pound debt. Two hundred, two hundred and fifty pounds. Is that English pounds, Mr. Pasquale? No, it's American pounds. It's all a fat and is a dollar less. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sure to marry her. And until he does, he's going to be nothing but a failure. I think I'm starting to get a clear picture, Mr. Bosco. Thank you for your time. Yeah, but, 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 but why, are you, why are you going so quick, Mr. Hatchikis? You, you're going to give me a bad mark in the book? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bosco. It's too early to tell what your rating will be. I'll have to do a little more outside research before I can come to any definite conclusions about your financial condition. Oh, but... But do you think maybe it's going to be a good marker, huh? Well, I don't know, Mr. Bosco. But maybe but you're going to give me a little hint, huh? I'm sorry. But if only you're going to... stop begging for mercy. Your only chance for now is the governor. <laughs> And then this Hotchkiss walked out just like that, Halavigi. That's right, Halavigi. And, and I'm worried because if he should give me bad directing, I'm not going to get a credit and do business like, like a real American business, is it? Yeah, I, I sympathize with you, Luigi. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Luigi. Today you can't do business without credit. We spent half our lives borrowing money, and the other half are not paying it back. That's <laughs> my Luigi. Quiet, fellas. Here comes the teacher. Good evening, class. Good evening, Miss Paul. All right, I'll call the roll. Uh, Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Howard? Here. Mr. Olsen? Here. Mr. Schultz? Wild horses couldn't drag me away. <laughs> Why, Mr. Schultz, do you like school that much? No, I just don't like to be dragged by wild horses. <laughs> I smile, everybody. Let us be gay. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Let's get on with our work now. Class, I asked you to study the chapter in your civics books on the Supreme Court. Mr. Horowitz, you may tell us how many judges there are in the Supreme Court. With pleasure. It so happens I have a wonderful system for remembering that. A cat has nine lives, and there are nine judges in our Supreme Court. Well, that's very good. And who is Chief Judge? Uh, Mr. Katz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Horowitz. Uh, Mr. Schultz, you may name the nine judges of the Supreme Court. Oh, just as easy as pie. Uh, one, uh, Felix Frankfurter. Uh, two, uh, two... Him and right now I would settle for Mr. Cab. <laughs> oh, Mr. Schultz, keep quiet, please. Uh, Mr. Olsen, tell him. Uh, to complete the list, there are uh, Fred Vincent, Hugo Black, uh, Stanley Reed, uh, William O. Douglas, uh, Robert H. Jackson, uh, Harold H. Burton. Uh, uh, they make seven so far. Good. Uh, uh, 
Mr. Basco, the other two names. The other two names? Uh, yes. Dunn and the Bradstreet. <laughs> what? Like I always say, you got to give those judges credit. That was a lot of balloons. I said enough, Mr. Shaw. <laughs> Go. Where did you get that Dunn and Bradstreet from? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a cent for them, and a man is a can, but, but I'm afraid that he's going to give me better credit mark in the book. And I'm not going to get credit from the wholesale house. Uh, the last two, Yonches. Uh, Mr. Uh, Basco, did the Dunn and Bradstreet investigator really come to see you? Oh, sure, but, but I would have Pasquale mixing him up, and me too, I'm... I don't think he's going to mark me good in the credit book. Don't be too sure, Luigi. You, 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 you shouldn't cost your bid just until you come to them. Yeah, you save a lot of toll charges, then. Fine. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, number eight is Thomas C. Clark. Uh, sure, sir. Sure, sir, friend. You don't know how important this is for my business. If I'm trying to get a credit with a wholesale house, then, then I'm, I'm never going to grow in the business. Now, who, who could be number nine? Mr. Basso, if you're so upset about what rating Dunn and Brad's people give you, why don't you phone them? Maybe they'll tell you beforehand. Oh, oh George, uh, uh, the ninth George is, is Sherman Minton. Miss Spalding, please stop him on the rivers of the world and don't wake him up till Christmas. <laughs> Believe me, Miss Spalding gave you a very good idea. There's nothing like action. Call up. Yes, why don't you? Better still, Luigi, go down to the company and find out. Sherman, who go down it to... To Dan and a Brad Street? Certainly, you grab the bull by the horn. <laughs> Go down, see the big shot. Tell him, I'm Luigi Vasco. You sent a man to investigate me. I am here. Tell me what you decided about my credit. Then what's he going to say, Shrews? Well, now he's got three alternatives. One, he could hem and haul. Two, he could stall you politely. And the three, he could kick you out. <laughs> oh, nothing of the kind, Mr. Vasco. You go there. I'm sure you'll do well. Hey, you're right, Miss Pauling. I'm a got nothing to lose. I'm a going to down to Dun and the Brad Street tomorrow morning. Oh, now you know. Oh, 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 Luigi, Luigi, oh, oh. I want you to know if they do give you a high credit rating. Yes, for sure. Sir. Let me be the first one to borrow five dollars from you. <laughs> Before we return to Life with Luigi, we'd like to mention that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is a delicious treat you can chew and enjoy while you're doing other things. It's pleasant to chew on a smooth piece of Wrigley's Spearmint while you're doing housework, for instance. If you work in an office or a factory, the good, tasty chewing seems to make your job go smoother and easier. A refreshing stick of Wrigley's Spearmint is swell to chew while you're driving your car, riding on the bus, or doing your shopping. Yes, folks. With a package of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum handy, you're always set for taste enjoyment plus chewing enjoyment. So wherever you are and wherever you go, be sure to have Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum with you. Get a few packages tonight or tomorrow morning. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in Italy. Well, Mamma Mia, I'm got up this morning after bad dream. I'm a dreamed I'm a went to Dunn Bright Street. Mr. Dunn says, Luigi, we got away, you see if you got enough for credit. Then uh, Mr. Bright Street is a uh, push me on uh, one side of the scale, roses jump on the other side, and I'm a flew through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> but a dream is a uh, no stopping me from uh, going downtown. After breakfast, I'm a took all of my receipts and my checks and my little account book and uh, my bank book. And I start to walk to the door when suddenly a bunch of hot air is a come around. Luigi, about to roll, sir. No, 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 please, please, but I'm, I'm, I'm got a big hurry. Once and for all. I'm uh, going to hurry, Dunham Brad uh, Street. What's your hurry? Uh? Because I'm going to Dunham Brad Street. I'm, I'm going to find out what the credit they're giving me. Please, Pasquale, stop, stop holding me back. I'm going to go. Oh, I... calm down. Relax. <laughs> How do you realize that what you want to do now might mean the end of Luigi Bosco in America? The end? Why? Why? 
Think about it yourself. You go busting into their office. Don is a talk on the Brad Street about should they let a million bucks at the General Motors. Yadda, yadda, yadda. You start yapping about your antique shop. Biz, 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 phone call to Washington. Beep, 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 the Marines. The next thing you know, Luigi Vasco's on a cattle boat to Italy. <laughs> I'm wrong, eh? Luigi, I might not be so smart with the books, but I know American business like I know the palm of my head. The biggest thing I could teach you is this. You've got less than two years to wait before they crown you American citizen, right? That's right, the Pasquale. All right. But those are two years you've got to lay low. Huh? <laughs> in your own little backyard. Don't pick fights with the dumbs and the Bradstreets. <laughs> Don't do nothing till Truman stamps on your record this greenhorn allowed to vote. <laughs> You listen to me, Luigi. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Has, Is a Basco antique shop? That's a Basco speaking. Mr. Basco, this is Mr. Brown of Colonial Antiques. Your shipment is ready. Have you received your credit rating yet? Credit rating? No, I don't know. And no, I'm sorry, but not yet. But well, that's too bad, Mr. Basco. If you don't get it by tomorrow, we'll have to cancel your order. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Mamma mia. But, well, it don't stop me. I'm uh, gonna go to the diamond of bread slits of oh, company stop, now. stop, stop, stop. Will you please? Uh, all right, I'm gonna tell you something I was uh, saving for last. I didn't want to tell you this, but I will. I found out that this Brad Street is a big national business. Uh-huh. National means Washington, which means the minute you walk in their office, FBI searches your pocket, somebody <laughs> takes your picture, and I pity you if they catch you walking around without your fingerprints. <laughs> No, but that's impossible. You, you make everything up. I'm going to downtown. All right, go, go. Let them find out how broke you are. They're going to give you a WPA rating. <laughs> WPA, what's that? Work a house for poor aliens. <laughs> Three hundred West Adams Street. I want a big building. Hmm, the sign says it's done in the Brad Street, established 1841. Mamma mia, that means that today they're both 120 years old. <laughs> well, Luigi, take up your courage, you walk in, and don't get scared. You've got to get that right in Excuse me, miss. Yes? I'm a Luigi Basque. I'm a coming for my market. You want your credit rating, is that it? Yeah, that's right. I see. May I have your name again, please? Luigi Basco. B-A-S-C-O. Everything is a little except for the B. That's a big. I see. Uh-huh. Are you a subscriber to our service? Subscriber? No, I'm a ticket dealer. <laughs> Mr. Basco, how long has your business been listed with us? Since half past five yesterday. Hmm. That's the one who managed to come and ask me questions. I see. A new subscriber. Well, I don't think your rating will be listed for another couple of months. You see, our book is corrected and published every 60 days. Please, Mr. Young Lady, maybe you'll take one little peek anywhere just to, to make sure. It would be a waste of time, Mr. Basco. Well, maybe you... too soon. Maybe, 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 please, you'll let me talk to Mr. Dunham Bradstreet. And here's going to tell me my mark. Mr. Basco, your business will not be listed for about 60 days. All right, then I'm going to wait to hear. <laughs> hey, look, maybe you'll let me talk to the boss. Do you want to see Mr. Hastings, our general manager? Yeah. Who? General manager. All right, must be very big man if he's a manager general. <laughs> Mr. Brasco, it's entirely beyond my power to help you. But uh, Mr. Hastings, all I'm asking I've you... checked, Mr. Brasco, and at the present time, Dun and Bradstreet has no report about your business. But uh, Mr. Hashkush has invested me yesterday. And so far, we've had no report from him. Mm, maybe he's got a loss in the street, the car. <laughs> I don't maybe... Mr. Basco, you've taken up a half hour of my time. I'm a sorry. Maybe you send me somebody else. I'm going to take up a that time. <laughs> there would be no point. I'm in charge of this office. Oh. You was a bought the business from a Dun and Bradstreet? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dunn and Mr. Bradstreet are both dead. But dead? <laughs> then who's to pay you your wage? <laughs> Mr. Basco, I'm trying to be patient with you. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you so much, but to me, it's... Well, it's some part in the wood, would be the worst day of my life if you put me in a book with this bad credit rating. Because then I'm, I'm not going to stay in business. Tell the truth. 
Who want to tell you? You got my credit mark in the book now, but you shame it to tell me. <laughs> no, and believe me, not even a vice president of the firm could tell you more than I have. Good, then I'm going to see him. See who? The vice president. He's a busy man, Mr. Basco, very busy, and right now I know he's not free. Oh, you're making a joke, Mr. Hastings. In America, everybody's a freak. <laughs> Please, Mr. Vice President, you look in a book for me and say, huh? Hey, Mr. Basco, it's very rare indeed that I get to talk directly with our clients. Usually the reporting manager or the office manager or the district manager handles these problems. Now, please, Mr. Vice President, you do me this one favor, I promise you, I'm going to do all of my business with you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, how long have you been in our country? Three years, 18 days. And if you tell me what time is it now, I'm going to give you hours in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like America, Mr. Basco? Mamma mia. If I'm a long time ago, what I'm a now, I would have got myself a born in America. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll make a fine citizen one day, Mr. Basco. Now, uh, just what is your trouble? Perhaps I can help you. Well, I'm, I'm a found out the uh, only way I can get antiques for credit from wholesale uh, is if I've got a good credit that I would have done in Bradstreet. So yesterday, you was a sent to Mr. Hatchie kiss it to my story. Mm, is he one of our field agents? No, I'm an antique shop, not a field. <laughs> <laughs> he's an antique agent, maybe. <laughs> well, uh, go on. Well, then, then he's asking me, he's asking me a lot of questions. I'm, I'm answer. He's go away. I'm, I'm worried that maybe he's a give me a bad mark. Mr. Vice President, what is the best mark you give out? Triple A one. Have you ever heard of it, Mr. Basco? Triple A one. Oh, sure. I'm a sort of a triple A one in newspaper once, and I'm a sort of like a vitamin B one. Triple A one is our highest credit rating. Companies like General Motors, AT and T, and Standard Oil get that distinction. They're a million dollars in over companies. I presume you're below a million dollars. I'm not the below. I'm away under. <laughs> well, you need over seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get a double A. And the lower you get, the rating goes to B and C and so on. Uh, just how much are you worth, Mr. Basco? Well, I'm a... Uh, I'm a don't take American alphabet as a go far enough. <laughs> no, please, uh, Mr. Vice President. Maybe we'll take a quick look in the book now and see. Uh, Mr. Basco, this is done in Bradstreet book or on that book, my desk here. It contains over two million names. All right, I have for you. Look, you take it first a million, I'm going to take it a second. <laughs> If our investigator saw you this morning, your business wouldn't be listed for a couple of months. Mamma mia, that's the back of where I'm going to start it. If you're vice the president, then you don't have to ask nobody that, else. That's not true. We depend entirely upon our investigators. They are very able men. Oh, they are, Look huh? Look behind you on the wall, Mr. Basco. You will see a portrait of a man who, during his youth, served as a field man for Dun & Bradstreet. Do you recognize him? Mamma mia. Abraham Lincoln. Now, I suggest that you go home, Mr. Vasco, and have patience within a couple of months. But I can't wait. Hold us along, Mr. Vasco. Mr. Vasco. And then the Pasquale Vice President, he's, he's a guy very excited, and, and I'm, I'm going to walk out. Uh, uh, Pasquale, what? What are you talking to yourself like that? What do you say to yourself then? I'm a just a praying for your life, that's all. <laughs> oh, what a boo. But wouldn't listen to Pasquale. No, Luigi's a big shot. You know what's going to happen to you now, Mr. Man of Without a Country? <laughs> what the, what the, Pasquale? <laughs> that vice president's going to make sure you get the lowest rating there is. Triple a Z, six and a three eight. <laughs> Soon as the whole of the country finds out Luigi Bosco's got no credit, can't be trusted, then the bank refuses to take your money, telephone book rejects your name. You know what the library is? going to stamp on your library card? What the... Bad or risk, I must return this a book in a two hours. <laughs> no, 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 Pasquale. Yes, sir, Luigi, and then to sign your own a death noose, you had to make all those insulting remarks in front of Abraham Lincoln, the father of the country. No, 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 not to me, Pasquale. Rather than insult Mr. Lincoln, how would rather die? Don't worry, you will. <laughs> Just the one thing, Luigi. Have a respect when a firing squad shoots. Huh? Try to fall towards the Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> 
Pasquale, you got a money, you got a citizen of purpose. They're going to listen to you. Come on, Pasquale, save me. Ah, all right, Luigi, I'm going to save you, Skid. Well, you know the penalty, marriage. <laughs> Call it in the Pasquale. That's the one I like, a fighter. Rosa! 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 You call me Pasquale! Oh, you, Rosa. Say hello to Luigi. Hello, Luigi. Hello, Rosa. Rosa, Luigi wants to marry you. What do you say? I'm playing hard to get. Oh, now, now, listen to me. Hello, you... Mr. Basco. Oh, Mr. Hotcake. Mr. Hotcake. I just came from the office, Mr. Basco. Your credit rating came through, and since you showed so much anxiety, the vice president himself asked me to come down and tell you about it in person. Luigi, don't say a word till my lawyers are talking to you. What lawyers? This is off the record, Mr. Basco. Your credit rating in Dun & Bradstreet's new book will be K one and a half. I want and a half of what's this? Means that the most few credit is a good for is a buck and a half. <laughs> oh, nonsense. It's not a very big rating, but it means your business is financially sound and your credit is good up to $200. $200? Mamma mia, that's a fine. Now I'm going to buy on a credit from a wholesaler and I'm going to grow bigger and a bigger. Oh, big deal. The week you go through the marriage, Pasquale's going to rate you B29. <laughs> the limit. No, 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 no. Thank you, Pasquale. Mr. Hatchkitsch, well, I, I'm a thought that yesterday you was going to give me bad rating. Well, since yesterday, Mr. Bosco, I did some pretty thorough research work on you. I spoke to your bank, your gas and electric company, your business connections, and from half a dozen other sources, I found out you pay your bills on time, and what's more important, the people you do business with trust you. That's good enough for Dun and Bradstreet. Mum, 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 mum. Well, goodbye, Mr. Bosco. Goodbye, goodbye, and, and hey, thank you. Hey, Mr. Hipswich, wait. <laughs> Maybe I would like to get a new book, too. I got a lot of big assets. <laughs> anyway, that's the him the biggest. Well, Mamma Mia. Soon I'm going to have my name in a great American book done in Bradstreet. And my business is going to grow bigger and bigger. Mamma mia, I'm, I'm going to hardly wait for a new book to come out because in between AT&T and, and a continental can is going to be <laughs> to your loving son, Luigi Basco, K1 and a half, for the limo <laughs> Friends, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they'd like to remind you that Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an ideal treat for your whole family to enjoy. You can give Wrigley's Spearmint to the children between meals without worrying about spoiling their appetite. And you can chew it often every day yourself because it's never rich or heavy. Remember, too, chewing delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum helps keep the teeth clean and bright and aids digestion. So you see, it's not only good, but also good for you. When you're doing your family shopping, remember to get a few packages of healthful, refreshing Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum. Your family will enjoy it, and you will too. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mac Benoff. Pat Burton is associate producer. The script is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Con Reed as Schultz, Yogi Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Schiff as Miss Paulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. The music is under the direction of Lud Gluskin. This is Charles Lyon. This is the CBS Radio Network.